What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So what we got going today is a challenge that I have wanted to do since Madden came out. I haven't really got the motivation because I knew it was going to take forever. But it is, it is. Can I score 100 points in a quarter? And this is not a live commentary. I did this last and I'm not going to tell you guys if I got it or not. I said I was going to try it once. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. So, but here's the exciting thing for you guys. If we gain a thousand new subscribers today, which is not that hard. We're probably getting even close to it at this point in the day. I will give a Madden copy to one of you guys who comment below. So comment below, just give me something. Just say Xbox, PS4. I'll pick one of you guys. I'll direct message you guys if we hit that. Also drop a like. If you guys notice, I'm going to be post comming this whole video. God bless each and every one of you. And let's go jump in to the video. Okay, so to begin here, I'm just going to kind of show you guys exactly what I did to make this happen. So obviously five minute quarter all Madden, this is completely impossible. So I didn't do that. There was a 99 overall roster on like the download thing. So I downloaded it. It was the Houston Texans. So I went and got the 99 overall Houston Texans. The Cleveland Browns were the team that I played against. I juiced up all the sliders in my favor and turned on 15 minute quarters. And this might, you might be thinking, oh, that's, that's cheating. No, that is the only way that I could really see an end where it would actually happen. Because scoring 100 points is not an easy feat. I don't know if you guys know, but that is a lot of touchdowns, a lot of two point converts for only one quarter. So right off the bat, you can see, I'm stopping. I'm already up 8 nothing. pretty much every single time that I threw the ball. It was a touchdown, which if you watch all the way to the end, you will see why that's very, very important. I end up going for two just because I figure seven touchdowns, I will have pretty much an extra touchdown if I go for two every time and get it. So that was going through my mind. They did sometimes get a few first downs like the Browns. They weren't super consistent with it, but there were times when they were getting first downs. Like it wasn't very like it was very sporadic and the punting was absolutely awful. I don't know what sliders I messed with in terms of their punting to make it like this, but the punting was terrible. I go deep to DeAndre Hopkins. There he gets stopped at the two yard line, which actually was really not very good. I was a little upset with the fact that that happened because that extra play cost me so much time because all I'm thinking in this whole video, there I get stopped at the two point convert. That was really, really dumb. I should not have ran like that. All I'm looking at this whole game is the time. So I have like goals in mind. So after five minutes, I want to have at least 33 points. After 10 minutes, I want to have at least 66 points. Obviously, I have the timeouts to use at the end. There we get a fumble. They just kept, no matter what I did throughout this whole game, they kept recovering their fumbles, which was driving me absolutely insane. I can't even explain to you guys how mad it was making me. The fact they kept recovering there. They throw it to the outside. A beautiful catch by DeAndre Hopkins. If you guys watch this whole video, you will see some incredible animations because of the fact that all the sliders are juiced up. Like, you're going to see some crazy, crazy catches. We score against. We're at 30 points, 11-23. At this point, I'm sitting at a really, really good pace. I know I have to stop them. I know they're going to choose some clock uh, because for some reason, they just kept running. I don't really know why, but pretty much every single time they ran the ball, which was a huge pain because every time they were running, it's, it's not good for me because that's just going to chew up more clock here. They hit me with a play action. They're looking around and we get another sack. And I was hoping that more of those sacks would turn into sack fumbles. It is what it is though. And watch this. This is the weirdest thing ever. Okay, look at this punt. Now watch. Watch what happens. Look at the clock. 10 14. This is going to shock you. This is actually a glitch. They get the ball back after that. It was like the most shocking, mind blowing part of this whole video. I almost want to send it to EA Sports to show them because I feel like they would want they would want to know that that was a thing. So they end up getting the ball back. I remember because uh, I was playing this well laying down because, like I said, I'm not feeling all that good. Uh, I'm not in the best like state right now to be sitting up, talking, etc. I'm feeling a little bit better today. But I was just laying down and I kind of looked away and I was like, they have the ball again. I was like, what happened? Like, did I miss something? Sorry, that was a voice crack. Here, I roll out of the pocket. I find my receiver on the outside for the possession catch. So we score yet again. I go for two, and that was a really, really sketchy throw to my tight end. I was a little surprised when I ended up catching that one, but I was quite grateful for it. They go back on the ground to Isaiah Crowell. He's pretty much going to get the ball all game. They're just going to keep feeding him. Uh, he wasn't getting yards, and that is one of their first first downs, which I didn't really realize with the sliders I did that they could get first downs. Uh, but if they would have gotten way too many of those, it would have made it actually impossible there. They throw an incomplete pass is what I'm always looking for because it stops the clock and just gives me that much more time because I have to score 100 points. I'm sure you guys know the title. You guys know I have to score 100 points. So I'm just going to stop talking about this for a minute. And I'm just going to address something, okay? I love Madden this year. I am having so much fun making these Madden videos. And I really, like, I know I have some work to do. But, like, I really, really want to get back to what I used to be as a Madden player. Back when I used to play every single day. Back when I was in the top 100. Back when I used to sell ebooks. Like, back, I don't want to start selling ebooks again. Obviously, I'd give it away for free. But, like, I want to get back in that because I just love this game. Football is my life. 
Like a lot of people think like, like oh, baseball, TV Barrett. No, I played football my whole life. That's I went, I got a scholarship to play football. So football is the thing that I care about most. It's the first sports game that I ever really got addicted to. So the fact that I'm able to make Madden videos and it seems like people are actually watching them this year, it, it means so much to me. So if you guys are here, just thank you so much. Uh, hashtag TD Takeover in Madden 18. Uh, but as you can see, 55 points now, or 54 points, my bad. And there's 636 left. So I'm looking at that, and I'm thinking this is over. I was almost getting discouraged. I was like, there's absolutely no way that I'm going to be able to make this happen. The clock is going against me. We're almost at 5 minutes, but I'm supposed to be at 66 points at 5 minutes, and we're only at 54. Luckily, we get a punt right there, and I'm able to go down and score really, really quick. Check out this animation. Like, look at that. That's what I was telling you guys. Look at these animations. That one was probably the most sickening of all of them. Sorry, my nose. It's, it's driving me crazy too. Don't worry. Being sick really, really sucks. Uh, they drop back here. A 61-point lead for us in the first quarter. It is a fumble, but nothing does amount of it. Then they throw to the outside. They catch it, but we're all over them to stop them. I'm just going to let it play for like two minutes, and then I'm going to see you guys at the last kind of minute of the video. Okay, so picking back here, you can see the score 85 to 0. Obviously, I'm sitting at a really, really good position right now with 136 remaining. All I know is this two point convert, I was actually genuinely nervous on that throw because I was like, if I miss that throw, I might not be able to get it. I was so incredibly panicked on that situation. I know here I have to get a stop. I gotta do my best to try and get a stop. We get the hit stick there. I was so pumped up. We get the stop. And right now, you're about to witness what I believe is the first time it's ever been done. I know sliders were juiced. I know it wasn't fair, but check out this. Check this out. Ah, boom! Look at the juke move into the end zone. Gorgeous juke. That gets us to 99. But you know, 99 is not 100. We kick the extra point. That gets us to 100 points. But we're not done there. Because there's still 58 seconds remaining, which means it's not over. It means it's 100% not over. They throw a ball out of bounds, which just helps me out even more. And then an incomplete pass. So they're pretty much just saying, hey, TD Barrett, keep scoring points we don't care just continue to score on us so that's exactly what i'm about to do we block the field goal somehow then we go run to the end zone that makes it 108 i believe i do get the two-point convert here i'm not 100 sure yeah i just run out there it's weird seeing like tom savage just become the biggest savage ever like it's a little bit different then they're just gonna throw more incompletions like you know, it was crazy they just kept it was like they wanted this to happen it was like cleveland was like wanting me to just continue to run it up there we recover the fumble to give us another chance so i roll out of the pocket i find my receiver for another touchdown to make it i believe 116 after all is said and done in this one no it's 115 they go out and i get a user pick like it was crazy i just kept scoring points and i want you guys i'm going to challenge all of you guys to beat this if you beat it make sure to tweet it at me at td bear yt and i will for sure give you props i score yet again and that is pretty much it for the video guys you can see we end with a score of 100 
and 23 points in the first quarter of a game. God bless you all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a great day. Remember to subscribe and comment down below if you guys want the potential to win a copy of Madden 18 in the console of your choice. Shout out to like EA Sports for helping me out with all that stuff. And yeah, I will see you all next time.